It's Jimmy here, Wellies. Come to look at this Jeep Wrangler. So it's not starting. Uh, they've had the AA out and we've just come here now. I'm gonna put our key in and look for our diagnostic port to see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. And it's just down here by the pedals. I don't know what this wiring is here for. It shouldn't be like that. It's covering your accelerator. So basically they've had the AA out and it's not starting. It looks like it's been lying here for a while, but uh, the AA have said it's possibly the glow plugs, but they weren't sure. So let's see if we can figure it out. So we're going to run a diagnostic scan. See what faults come up. None in the engine. Got one in the brakes and the airbags. Uh, break so we're not really interested in that let's just see what's in here low voltage on the battery okay we'll uh, move this out of the way see what happens if we try to start it okay let's try and start it up So it's a crank, no start. I highly doubt this is a uh, glow plugs to be honest. It's not given any fault for them. Crank, no start to me looks like it's uh, got a fuel issue. Um, and especially if it's been sat there for a while, maybe we'll try uh, squirting some easy start in there. Huh? We'll give that a try first before we uh, replace the glow plugs. It's not an easy job. Just coming over here, glow plugs are all down underneath that fuel rail makes it a bit difficult to reach and you've got one down there behind the alternator so if we look down go down here you've got a glow plug and along this fuel rail here you put them underneath it's a little bit difficult to reach um, and they've got a high risk of snapping to come out but uh, first we're going to try putting some spray in here. Here we have the air box. I'm just going to spray some starting fluid in here. And we've just cleared all of the uh, faults that are on here. I think they're battery related anyway. So uh, let's try and start it now. We've just put some spray in there. Just as I suspected, uh, it looks like it just needed a little bit of persuasion. Uh, obviously, it's uh, a diesel, it's been sat for a long time. I doubt there's any uh, need for replacing the glow plugs, really. But uh, I'll leave it to the customer's choice as we've got them here. There it is, all running, so we won't be needing these. Solve the bonnet over. Right, I'm not sure if you could hear out there with the engine noise, but I've been called here to fit some glow plugs. Uh, there isn't any glow plug fault coming up, just a little bit difficult to start, but uh, the car has been sat here for maybe a couple of years. So I don't think I'd suggest changing to these just right now. Uh, what we're going to do is, the car is now started, so we're going to let it until tomorrow morning. And... If the car starts on its own accord, I think we'll just probably leave it at that. But I'll suggest maybe a fuel filter change. It's been sat for a while, maybe condensation in there. But uh, you got to expect that sort of thing. Um, but that's it. Uh, we'll uh, get back out there. Alright, so it's been 24 hours since the Jeep has been looked at. And uh, it is starting on its own accord. So uh, we can safely say that uh, it's, it is fixed. Um, so... 
that's about it. We'll uh, post a video up now and uh, at least we've got confirmation that the problem is sorted and uh, that there's nothing else that needs doing on it. So uh, that's it. See you next time.